till now we have seen how to create functions how to call that functions and using functions how to display that data okay now this entire thing we have displayed using functions okay now we are going to work on this thing okay whenever i click on this specific brand okay this data should be displayed when i click on this category this data should be displayed if i am not having that category and that brand i should be getting this message okay no stock for this category and for products i should be getting this message okay if that product is not there then i should be getting this message okay now we are going to work on this and now if you notice here whenever i am inside home page only i am having index.php file even if i remove this one i will be getting the same page okay i don't have anything here now when i click on this brands you can see i am having index.php file and also i am having this get variable brand when i click on this categories i am having this index.php file and here i am having this category now if i just remove this get variable inside index.php i am having the same thing okay i am having all the products whatever products i am having that is been displayed but when i click on this ice creams you can see i am having this get variable and related to that i am having this id if this category and this brand is not set only then i have to display all the data okay whatever data i am having here this products data if that category and that brand is not set here inside this url then i should display this one if this category is set here okay if this category is set then i have to display only the category data and here if this brand is set only i have to display the brand data okay now we are going to check for that one so we have already created this function get products function now inside this function below this connection variable i am just going to write one condition condition to check is set or not okay now what we have seen if that category and brand is not set only then we have to display all this data so here i am just going to write this condition if not is set okay i am just telling that if that is not set only then i have to display and url data we can access using get method and here i am just going to write category okay whatever variable we have passed we just have to write that one i'll just open this and i'm just going to remove this closing if and below this i'm just going to close this one again in the same way below this one below this if again i'll be writing another if if not is set if not is set and using this get method i'm just going to access brand i'll just write here get i'll be writing here brand again i'll just open i'll cut from here and here i'm just going to close this one i'll save this what i am telling here is if my category variable and this brand variable is not set only then i have to display all this data i'll just come here i'll just remove this one i'll refresh this now you can see if that is not set this category is not set here okay let me just come to my project now here i'll just refresh this one you can see the category is not set and also the brand is not set if this is not set then i have to display all this data now if i just click on this allahabadi you can see now the brand is set but here i am not having all the data only if this is not set i have to display the data or else i should not display the data before if i was not writing this one i'll just remove this and also i'm just going to remove this i'll just come to index page i'll refresh this one now here i am having this one if i click on brands you can see i am having this brand id and also i am having all the data so to avoid this one we are just writing this two conditions i'll just uncomment this and also i'm just going to uncomment this okay that is the reason i have written this one now if i refresh this one now whenever my brand is set i don't have any data to display even if category is set i don't have any data to display if both is not set only then i have to display this data okay we are done with this first condition now we are going to work on the second condition whenever i click on the brands using that id i have to display the data i'll just come here inside this functions folder itself below this folder okay below this function i'm just going to create another function i'll be writing comment i'll just write here getting categories getting unique categories i'll be writing here getting unique categories in the same way i'm just going to copy the same function i'll just copy this entire function and here i'll be pasting that function instead of get products i'll just write here get unique categories okay whatever function name you want you can give i'll be writing here underscore so that we don't get confused get unique categories 
inside this we are having now here i'm just going to remove this not i'll be writing if is set okay if this category is set only then i have to display this data i'll just remove this one we are just writing for brands and also i'm just going to remove this one curly braces from here now here i don't have to display all the data whatever data i have displayed here i don't want to display that data now once it is set whatever id i am having let me just come to categories now whatever id i am having here i have to fetch that one so for that inside this i'll just create one variable i'll be writing here category id using this get method i'm just going to access that id and inside this whatever variable i have passed here i'm just going to copy this one and here i'll be pasting that one i'm just accessing the value present inside the url i'm just storing inside this variable now here we have written select star from products which is going to select all the data order by random i don't want this one i'll just remove this i'll be writing here where my column id category id is equal to this one okay is equal to this value only then i have to fetch the data i'll just write that one i'll save this and this function i'll just copy this function and inside index.php wherever we have displayed the products below this i'm just going to display this one i'll come here i'll just remove this i'll refresh this one now all the products has been displayed now when i click on this fruits you can see category 1 inside category 1 i'm having two products so that will be displayed for me now again i'll just tell you whatever we have done here i have just copied this entire function and inside this function i am just checking this one if this is not set and if this is not set only then i have to display all this data and inside categories i am just checking if this category is set i am just accessing the value from the url i am storing inside this variable now for this fruits you can see i am having category 1 so one will be stored inside this variable category id and here i am just writing the query this entire thing is same if you don't know this one then you can refer the previous sections to know how to display this data now here i am selecting all the data from the products i am just checking this one where my category id whatever id i am having inside the database you can see inside this products table i am having this category id if this category id is equal to this category id okay from here i got the value as 1 you can see inside this url i am having the value as 1 so wherever i am having this 1 you can see for this one i am having 1 and for this one i am having 1 so this is going to match with this one and this is going to fetch only the two records from here and whenever i click on this fruits you can see category id is 1 so here i am having those two products now when i click on juices i don't have any data instead of displaying empty i should be displaying some message now when i click on milk products you can see category id is 4 and inside this database category is 4 and we are having this milk dairy milk and that data is been displayed for me again when i click on shoes that data is been displayed for me now we are not having here books so instead of displaying like this i should be displaying the message here okay this kind of message i should be displaying so for that what we are going to do is now here below this wherever we have executed this query i am just counting the number of rows if i am getting some result now we have seen for category 1 we are having two results that is mango and apple we had we are having two columns okay inside two columns we are having this category 1 so we are just counting the number of rows it is going to fetch so for that we are having my sqli num rows to count the number of rows now here i am just going to write here a uh, number of rows inside this i am just going to write my sqli num rows using this method we can count the number of rows present inside the database i'll just copy this one and here i am going to paste now let me just remove this one i'll just write here equal to okay now for fruits i am having two data so it is going to fetch two records from the database and i am just counting how many records i got if i am not having anything then here i am just going to check the condition if my number of rows if it is less than 0 you can give or you can just give if it is equal to equal to 0 if i am not having any data then i should be displaying this message i'll just write here echo i'll just close this one i'll be writing here h2 and inside this i'm just going to write here no stock for this category i'll just close this h2 i'll save this one i'll refresh this now for chips we are not having when i click on chips you can see i'm having no stock for this category let me just add some stylings here i'll just write here class and inside this i'm just going to write here text to be center 
and also I'll write here text color to be danger text danger okay so that I'll be getting in red color I'll save this I'll refresh this one now here I'm having no stock for this category okay don't get confused whatever we are doing now whenever I click on this whenever I click on this chips here I'm having category is equal to 6 so it is going to come to the database and from here it is going to search for that 6 here I'm not having 6 so it is going to return me 0 if this is equal to 0 then this message should be displayed if this is not equal to 0 then it will come outside of this one and it is going to fetch all the data from the database and that data will be displayed for me now when I click on this fruits you can see two data has been displayed inside URL I'm having category is equal to 1 it is going to come to the database it is going to fetch all the data wherever I'm having category ID is equal to 1 so two data it is going to fetch and it is going to count the number of rows so it will return me 2 and it is going to check if number of rows is equal to equal to 0 no it is not because it is equal to 2 so it will come here it will fetch all the data related to that ID and it is going to display me that data I'll just remove this comments okay you can see this is how we are going to display the categories data again I'll come here I'll refresh this one now when I click on this vegetables for category T I'm having only one product again when I click on milk products I'll be having this for books I'm not having anything for chips I'm not having anything for shoes this data will be displayed okay this is how we are going to display the category data in the same way we are just going to display the brand data now whenever I click on this brands I am not having anything whatever I have written here I'll just copy the same thing I'll just change the spelling here I'll be writing here getting unique categories I'll just copy this one and below this I'm just going to paste I'll just comment this out now instead of this categories I'll be writing here unique brands and here I'll be writing brands okay whatever name I'm having let me just check for that I'll come here now inside URL I'm having brand so I'm just writing this brand and from here I'll be removing this I'll just write here brand ID I'll copy this one and here I'll be pasting that and here also I'm just going to paste and here also I'll be pasting that one okay rest everything will be same we don't have to do any changes here and instead of this message no brand no brand available no brand available for service instead of no brand I'll just write it this brand this brand is not available for service not available for service I'll save this now if I refresh this one brand 3 okay I'm not getting anything because I have not called this function I'll just come I'll just copy this function and below this categories I'll just close this one and below this I'm just going to paste that one I'll save this now if I refresh this one okay now here I'm getting some error inside 81 undefined key brand ID okay let me just check for that inside common functions inside 89 select query here I'm having this one brand okay here I have to write brand okay because whatever ID I'm having whatever name I'm having inside get variable I just have to access that one this is the column name whatever is present inside the database table this is the variable name where we are storing this data and this is the get variable okay whatever we are having inside URL we just have to pass that one now if I refresh this one you can see inside brand 3 okay that is nothing but McDonald's I'm having this one I'll just come here now inside brand 3 you can see I'm having dairy milk only that data has been displayed now for Flipkart I don't have anything so here I'll be getting this message now inside Allahabadi I'm having one brand ID is equal to 4 you can see for brand ID 4 I'm having capsicum so only that data will be displayed again for swiggy the brand id is one i'll come here you can see for swiggy what is been displayed here here i am having this apples for brand id one we are having this apples okay this is how we are going to display the unique categories data and unique brands data and also we are going to display the entire data if this brand is not set and also the category is not set we are going to display this entire products if this is set related to that the data will be displayed if this category is set related to that the data will be displayed okay you should be very careful whenever you are coding if you are not getting this one practice this again and again watch the video again and again unless and until you understand keep watching this keep practicing this only then you will be able to understand this one okay next we are going to see how to display all the products inside another page how to create search functionality how to create view more functionality everything we will see one by one